Welcome to Time to Replay Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. So this is my last unfinished LP that I will be doing. And in 2009, this is going to bring back some good memories because in 2009 I did my Mario All-Stars LP where I did all four of these games, but I did not finish the Lost Levels because I said that's it, I'm done, I can't beat this, and that was back when I you know, did not complete my LPs because I didn't think it was necessary just to play it until you get tired of it or until you can't get any further. So, I am going to restart this and finish this up and I'm going to play with Luigi because I'm sure we guy would love that. And I forgot how far I got in the Lost Levels in 2009. I got to go back and look. But I did not beat the game for sure. And... This will really bring back some good memories because 2009 was a breakthrough year for me on YouTube and this LP of all four of these games on the All-Stars cartridge lasted six months. And so that's probably my second longest LP I've ever done. And yeah, so here we are again. And I have beaten this game without warping when I was a kid, but I could not do it in 2009. But here we go again. And this time I will do it, but man, how hard is this going to be? All right. Let me see if I can do it without cheating. And without having to use other people's footage. All right. Got to have a lot of patience with Mario The Lost Levels. I mean, man, very hard game to beat. It's hard enough to beat when you warp, but without warping? Oh, man, jeez. Right. Well, so far so good, but of course it's the first world. Did he just flip me off before he went in there? No, not really. All right, so I'm going to go with the underdog, Luigi, and let Luigi get the glory. It's your time to shine, Luigi. All right, world one, two, the tunnel level, or the cave level, whatever you call it, underground level. Is he freaking W? Gorilla Midgets again, or Buzzy Beetles, whatever they're called. I remember when All Stars was being hyped before its release in 1993. I had a friend of mine tell me in school that, ah, oh, All Stars is lame. I'm like, what? And I think because it's just basically the same games as Mario 1, 2, and 3, with the bonus of Lost Levels, but, I mean, I said, man, this has got, oh, jeez, I, man, I've, yeah, you can tell this is going to be an LP that's going to last a while. Uh, so I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, someone said, oh, All-Stars is lame. I'm like, what? No way, Mario Mario 1, 2, and 3 on the SNES. Gotta see that. And, man, I remember in the summer 94, yeah, I think it was the summer 94, I got All-Stars for free because they had that promotion, if you guys remember. If you send in the proof of purchase off of the back of your SNES box, you get a free cartridge of Mario All-Stars. And I took advantage of that, and that was pretty awesome. Alright. World 1-2 two is clear. So yeah, again, 2009, uh, had fun doing this LP of the whole cartridge. Mario's, actually, there's five games. Uh, the, the ROM I downloaded, it might be the same one. I wasn't even paying attention right here. Um, I did, in 2009, I completed the entire game of Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, and World. Jeez. What a freaking fish float. How can, that's a, how's that, uh, whatever kind of fish it is, going to swim in midair like that? that? That don't make no sense. What are you smiling at back there, freaking cloud? Creepy level. Thank you. 
Jeez. Can't even get the mushroom. How am I going to beat the game? All right. I think Nintendo Power did something where if you can prove that you beat the game without warping, you get some sort of watch or something. I forgot. And well, I did beat the game without warping, but I did not send in proof. And I didn't really care to. Um, I didn't care about the prize they had at the time. But I did beat it when I was a kid without warping, and yeah, so, man, I'm real rusty at this. And, ah, oh, jeez, oh, <laughs> fail. Wow. Right, let's try that again. One more life left. No, oh, man, I'm just trying to get used to the controls with Luigi here. Jeez. At least I don't have to start all over. I can save and continue. There we go. Come on, let's get it right this time now. Nice. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, try and dodge the fire sticks and then Bowser's fire. Whoa. That portrait back there looked like Blue Rose might have drew, drew that as good as it looks. All right. Nice. Of course, that was easy. Gee, is this the princess? Could it be? No, it's Toad. <laughs> oh, man. Good old Toad. At least it's not as bad as Tingle or Tinkle, whatever his name was, Majora's Mask. Anyway, that is the end of part one. I'm going to save and quit right here, and I'll see you guys in part two for World 2. Until then, God bless. Take care, and please pray for me.